Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of an accumulator. That is, we are going to look at the Z transform of an accumulator. That is, this accumulator, the system accumulator is defined by the system function y of n equal to the summation k is equal to minus infinity to n x of k. So that means it adds all the values from beginning of time to current point or current time. So this is the accumulator. Now we want to find the z transform of this output y of n in terms of the z transform of the input that is x of k. That is we want to find the relation between we want to find the relation between y of z and x of x of z. So so to derive first we write the equation y of n is equal to k is equal to minus infinity to n x of k that is we start with the definition of the system now we change the variable so the next step is to change the variable k that is we rewrite or we define a new variable n minus k as m so for k is equal to minus infinity m becomes plus infinity and for k is equal to n m is equal to 0 therefore y of n can be rewritten as summation m is equal to 0 to infinity x of and now k becomes n minus m x of n minus m so that is the definition of the accumulator that is summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus m so now uh, now we can apply the z transform on both sides that is we apply z transform on both sides that is on the left side we have summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity y of n z power minus n and uh, on the right side we have summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity summation m is equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus m and uh, now clearly the summation on the left side is the definition of the z transform of y of n so it is indeed y of z and on the right side we change the uh, uh, summations or interchange the summations so that we have summation m is equal to 0 to infinity and then again summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n minus m z power excuse me there should be z power minus n here so now we have z power minus n so this is the uh, definition of z transform of x of n minus m that is so we have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n minus m z power minus n so this is the definition of z transform of a delayed signal so by using the definition of the z transform of a delayed signal delayed signal or a shifted signal a shifted signal which is by definition x of n minus m has the z transform x of z multiplied by z power minus m so that is the definition of uh, z transform of a delayed signal that is our shifted signal that is x of n minus m is e, has a z transform x of z multiplied by z power minus m so this summation basically becomes x of z z power minus m therefore the z transform of the output y of z is equal to the is equal to the summation m is equal to 0 m is equal to 0 to infinity x of z multiplied by z power minus m so that is the relation between the z transform of the output of an accumulator and the input of the uh, and the z transform of the input of the accumulator that is y of z is the summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of z z power minus m so this is the relation we are looking for so to summarize we have derived the z transform of the output of an accumulator in terms of the z transforms of the input that is uh, y of n is the output x of n is the input so the relation between y of z and x of z is derived as follows that is we use the definition of the accumulator and then we uh, simply change the variables from uh, k to m where n minus k is equal to m so based on and then we apply the definition of z transform on both sides and then the next step we interchange the summations and then uh, the inner sum basically becomes the z transform of x of n minus m that is a delayed signal so that we have x of z multiplied by z power minus m and finally the z transform of the output y of n that is y of z becomes summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of z z power minus m so this is the relation between the 
output of the accumulator and the input of accumulator in terms of Z transform. Thanks for watching.